space coconut. Okay. So I was worried I wasn't going to have anything to talk about today. My wife's out of town. Um, watch. <laughs> I caved in and I started watching Stranger Things and I'm currently watching uh, season two, episode five. It's pretty good. The um, doing laundry it's Saturday and I was going to play some matches and just kind of do regular gameplay because, there, you know, there's not much information. People are just waiting for the PTB to drop on Tuesday, which people are assuming that that's when it's going to drop, which I agree. And then I saw Twitter. And I mean, while it's not groundbreaking or super wildly important or anything, I saw two tweets today um, from Edgar Allan Bro and uh, Tofu, or O Tofu, and both of them are going into the Behavior Studios on Tuesday for consulting. And now, what I really think is interesting is this is this is the second time that we've I've known of that the devs have brought uh, creators in. Uh, to the studios the first the first group was that uh, creators council that had uh, what cauliflower it had a bunch of people cauliflower panda uh, a bunch of people now uh, you can look that up and you know see the spam for who went for that now the speculation is is that they got to test and uh, play the majority of the dlc or get information about all of these dlcs and they were all really really excited about it would ex um, it would make sense that they knew about uh, who's coming up? It would make sense that they knew about the archives, uh, the extra story modes, the balance, the dedicated. Well, we knew about the dedicated servers, and then um, the Stranger Things DLC. It would make sense that they knew about that and got to play with it a little bit and, and provide some feedback. Of course, we have no idea of knowing to what degree that all took place because they never talked about it afterwards. But I have a feeling that this is something similar, but not as... This isn't a marketing thing. They specifically called it consulting. And so what I think is interesting is I wonder if behavior... Okay, so now that the Stranger Things DLC is going to drop, um, all of this is in full swing. There's a possibility uh, when they um, when they start doing their consulting on Tuesday, and that's when the PTB drops, they're going to play it, they're going to try it out, and uh, they're going to provide direct feedback to the devs. What what the devs do with that, who knows? But the thing is, is like if I'm right, both of them are going to be gone for the entire week. Ed Grallen Bro says that's why I'll, I'll be gone next week, and Tofu says that streams will pick up again on Saturday. They're not they're going to be there for the duration of the PTB. So, I mean, providing feedback and consulting about the things uh, in the PTB directly might be nice. It would also explain why we haven't seen any numbers for the uh, for the powers and perks and everything. And uh, I don't know. I, I, I feel like that's something. But what I also kind of want to consider is that they're not going to just focus on the PTB. It's possible that they're going to focus on the on the next content that's coming. And I'm not talking about the next chapter. I'm talking about the archives in the Rift, uh, the battle pass, as I'm gonna call it from now on. It's possible that as part of this whole week long thing, that they do the PTB for the first couple of days. And then at the end of the week-ish, they talk about what's coming next, which is the archives in the battle pass, and then get their input, you know, so they can consult, and I'm using finger quotations right here, uh, consult about how that system looks to them. Now, I don't watch either Edgar Allan Bro or O Tofu. Uh, it feels like Tofu is a Survivor main, Survivor-ish. Uh, Edgar Allan Bro may be the same thing. I don't. I don't know. Um, I don't know what they what they do or their opinions on the game. If they are skewed towards Survivor or Killer, or if they actually try and be balanced. Uh, my my views are skewed towards Killer, but I do try to be balanced. My you, you guys you guys know I don't need to explain that but I wonder where where they sit on that fence you know and so I wonder what kind of input they're gonna give to the devs are they gonna be honest in their in their in their opinions and tell the devs if something is bad or are they going to kind of butter them up to continue having opportunities like this? There's no way of knowing because we're not going. We don't know what they're consulting on, and we're not going to get any of that information until they're allowed to tell us. 
contracts are a thing. And so this is just kind of a speculation video. We we know that they're going to talk to them. We're, they're going. They specifically used consulting. And what's interesting is that the definition of consultant is a person who provides expert advice professionally. Now the professionally part is they get paid to do it. But uh, I think I don't think they're going to be paid. And in, in, I don't I don't think they're going to be paid per se. But what were we saying about the devs asking for advice from their players of their game? So I have, I think this is a step towards that kind of thing. Oh, while, you know, we don't know what they're talking about and we don't know how they've consulted or anything. I think just the fact that these two are going in for consulting is a good sign, you know, to the general health of the game. But I mean, how, what comes of it? And what happens? What's the result of their visit and their consulting thing? But, you know, we'll just have to wait and see. And we may never hear about it. So I just wanted to touch on that because I thought it was pretty interesting. And while it's not exactly newsworthy or exciting information, it's something that we've been asking them to do for a long time. And so to what degree, we don't know. But this is a step towards it. So if you guys watch either of those channels, or follow those those guys if they bring something up if they talk about this consulting thing at all uh clip it and send it to me because i'd be interested to hear you know what this all entailed what their consulting thing did so another thing that came up uh that i thought about um during the day during last night and all of that um the devs um have mentioned before how they wanted to change insta hills Unfortunately, I can't find. Unfortunately, I can't find that clip. Um, but or if it was a forum post, I can't really remember which. I think if I start seeing important information, I'm going to start taking screenshots and uh, clipping it and stuff. But anyway, um, I remember them mentioning how they wanted to change Insta Hills because you know they can lead to some bad feels, and instead change it to change it to something that would work over time. Now that would, it would uh, greatly reduce the effectiveness of the uh, of the insta heals, but at the same time still make them very very useful. You know, depending on how you go about using it. Um, I I, re I would really like that. Now the thing is, is that the devs never do say something and then they go out and just do it. They usually do something else. They usually. They'll usually do more with the things that they've created. Now, I like to think that way because now that they've created the Demogorgon and if it uh, goes on to all fours, it's not confirmed one way or the other yet, but I still have an inkling that uh, it enters a stealth mode. But, you know, there's no way of really knowing for sure until Tuesday. But if they built that skeleton and if that works that way, um, that's going to open up the uh, possibility they have a tool they have the skeleton they have this thing to be able to use for future projects right they have this thing established in the same way that they created the uh, project the projectile thing for the huntress uh, mclean mentioned using that same baseline to create the plague so you know they've we've established that they create that when they create new things they always have a way or can use it in in the future now changing the insta heals outright um you know would throw a lot of people in a hissy fit but they still don't have the mechanic in place however they created it the second wind is uh, uh one of the new survivor perks it says when you complete one health state of healing on other survivors the perk activates while activated the next time you get unhooked or you unhook yourself you're affected by the broken status effect while outside the terror radius the perk passively heals you up to 100% healthy state over a duration of 24, 22, and 20 seconds. This is the important part of this perk. They have just created healing over time mechanics. And the interesting thing is, is that this, with a little bit of tweaking, with a little bit of work, can be worked over into the insta heals, to where they do this same thing without all the hoops. They'll be able to heal you up to one health state, 100%, over a short period of time. Now, of course, it's going to have to be shorter than um, healing, um, like a like survivor healing with a or a group of survivors healing you or something like that. It'd have to be a short period of time. But yeah, with this perk, 
I think we have a nice possibility of uh, insta-heals getting nerfed, which is going to be very exciting for me. I mean, personally, I, I, I kind of have issues with those, but if they're getting nerfed, we're going to see them less often. So let me know about what you think about that theory. You can make a note of this today that I called this, if this is what they end up doing. So, and then it'll help me feel special about myself. <laughs> anyway, I think we've covered enough today. Um, what day is today? Today is Saturday. Oh, that means I have to play Survivor. Urgh. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Yay. <laughs> I'll just get a couple matches in and, uh, and get it over with. But... Um, let me know what you think about these two little theories that I that I cooked up here. And uh, yeah, if you find any information on on either the uh, on either of the streamers, if they mention what they uh, what they're um, consulting for specifically, or if you watch any of the other streamers and they've and they talk about what the creators council entailed, what they got out of that. Um, hit me up with a link to uh, any any information on that because I'm interested to see what they've been doing and you know maybe it'll tell us what they're going to do in the future so I appreciate you guys I'm going to do some matches you guys enjoy your Sunday I'm going to finish the series uh, and uh, work on the Mori video also that's going to be fun in the meantime I'll see you in the fog <laughs>